my god. Today I got some weapon synergies for you and we're starting off with the Tremna and if you remember my Tremna video I got something going on with Zata's Whisper and I actually found a way to make it a little bit more consistent. Now that the weapon's charged the trick here is to group enemies. You don't need to use Volban, you can use any enemy grouping ability that you want but I just like to use Volban just to show this. It's not every time that you're gonna get your charges back but there's a good chance. As you can see, we got all of our charges back and the more enemies you have, the better. It's not gonna be every time. Still inconsistent. Here we go, only got him one. That's really bad. I really don't know how, the, how far it goes as the interaction between like the Zata's Whisper and the Vortex. If the, it's only the visual that's not showing the um, the void proc there and if it is there I think that's how it's going it's just not showing but it is there and if you take a few shots before your results are most of the times slightly better I'm also trying a electricity build and if you know electricity and grouped enemies work very well and to get away with the innate heat from the weapon I actually made gas before I put in some electricity. It's gonna be a little bit hard to get the charges but when you do, yeah, things are gonna be crazy. As we're talking about Tromna secondary fire, we're probably not gonna be even able to see the electricity procs there. I think just everything's just gonna melt before we're able to see that. But if something happens to survive and it has an electricity proc, it's not gonna be alive for very long. And for the last build I've made for this is a full gas build. And yeah, results are gonna be really crazy and still gonna be way harder to get your charges up from the beginning but once we get the charges and we actually use the secondary fire we're talking about something like unsurvivable rocks. I'm gonna throw the vortex I'm gonna try to kill them all from here okay we got the charges back more enemies all dead more enemies yeah and the gas proc went off. But as you can see, there is no way something is survival, surviving those gas rocks. It's just insane. It also feels a little bit more consistent than the others. Again, it doesn't need to be Boban. Grouping skills work. It maybe I just feel like the skills with the ragdolling effects might work just a little bit better, but still, getting those the, uh, a few shots before and getting those those wood procs going might help. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. It's sadly inconsistent. So it's still pretty fun to be even able to get your charges back. It's already it's already something cool. And the second surge goes to the bad part. Using kind of a electricity based build with crit and yeah, this is it. Thing is, with Zata's Whisper, you can pretty much get the same thing with the that was going with the Tremna, but still slightly inconsistent. And if you're fighting higher level enemies, it might be a little bit hard to start this to get your first charge but yeah sometimes you only really need one and we are at three chargers and the enemies are all dead that's how it goes the more enemies the better but that's it you're making some very powerful electricity procs and pretty much nothing is surviving that and also the damage that we're able to put out with the galvanized mods and the arcane it's pretty deadly so yeah it's pretty much a nuke 
easy to say it's a nuke fail. I'm gonna show you with gas. With gas feels even hard to start. But we're also getting some very powerful procs going on there. So gas clouds are gonna be deadly, but it doesn't feel as consistent as with electricity. There we go, we got them all. I'm gonna throw another vortex just to show you again what we're doing. I also got an honorable mention on this kind of group enemies and kill or you set a Swiss and stuff. That is the boss move. It's a weapon that I really like. It's one of my favorites. I've changed my build slightly here just to using the combat discipline with the Arcane Avenger because if you know, you know the boss move, the thing to use the secondary fire is to get the uh, get some crits because the critical multiplier is just insane. So we're gonna trigger our Arcane Avenger and then we're gonna go and attack our enemy. Okay, we got the proc going, gonna some more the Vortex, or the Whisper. And sometimes. And we just start everything and everything is dead. Pretty good, not the most effective build for this. But I also got another build for the electricity. The thing I want to change here is actually to add some. I'm not really sure how much is worth to keep hunter munitions here. I think the uh, critical is insane. But yeah, I just don't know what to take off. But I'm gonna try and take this and get some some crit damage, which is something that I'm missing here. And yeah, here we got. Keeping our viral and electricity and getting as much electricity as we can. And we're gonna try it now. Just got it going. Let's go. Much, much deadlier than before. Amazing! But the thing is, that is something that I think it might be better, and that is. Sickening Pulse with the boss mode. It's probably gonna be very, very crazy. So, another Vortex. Just use one flip and Sickening Pulse and see how much damage are we gonna be, we're gonna be doing. That is a good amount of damage, even uh, without the critical. Now let's use the critical. Here we got the buff. Let's go. Vortex. Do one mag. Two. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Maybe we only needed once or one. See again. Oh my god. Decimated. Yep, only one left. And the rest is... Very, very dead. 